Finally got this home. We haven't taken off the trailer, the back of the Ute yet, but we can see. Yeah, it's this thing's pretty, pretty scuffed up. Um, that's all right. You see, there's marks, little rust patches. It's obviously been left on its back at some point. That almost look like rub marks. Um, but it's just yeah, that'll need some taking back. There's some dings there. Um, this, these quarters are pretty good, pretty solid. Trimmings. The window trimming's fine, um, and the seals seem fine there as well, which is good. But the the outside trimming will need we'll just make our own, I think, for that. Get some rubber and redo that entire thing, because that's all pretty average. Back window solid, but it's got some weird tint thing happening in it. This is probably my, the biggest concern that I've got is a, is a rust patch um, just in there that we'll need to, to fix up and I want to be able to see if I can do that without removing the window but we'll see we probably will have to do the window but that's all right it's all new new stuff this panel good 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 a couple of the ding there but the glass is all in it um, the lines are nice all in all that's not bad. The, the headliner, you can't really see it like well. And you can see it sagging just a little bit, which is fairly common in these things, but it's not too bad. Um, not too bad at all on all the back trimming in it too, around the inside of the, the windows all there, which is great. So uh, it's very dirty. Um, the lady I bought it off said that she had it all clean, and then someone came and put a really dirty... Um, 
dirty mattress or something on top of it just to keep it wet dry but it was muddy and dirty and so it messed it up so it needs a a good um, pull back we'll rub the paint off we'll pull some trims off and we'll we're going to paint that that's the the plan but um we've got a hard top for the capri that'll be cool sanded roof so we've got um we've, we've scuffed up most of it just nicely just rough just to so that our primer will bite a bit nicer um, that's pretty rough but that's that's okay that's allowed to be um, I would encourage you if you are gonna you know do some serious painting um, <laughs> watch some proper painting videos um, the gunman would be my recommendation that guy's amazing um, but basically what I've done is any deep ones I've taken all the way back down um, and I'll fill those um, so I can sand back again but using the same colour. You can see like it's a deep one that was that dent that was at the front. Um, we've tried to get those centre scratch lines um, down to, to zero if we can. I've tried to take our rust spot which is our worry problem back here. I've taken that down. Um, almost flat there's a bulge in there that we're going to have a look at and see if we can work out what's pushing that out where the rust is and this side was the worst one so you can see there's the imperfections are quite a dent there there and there um yeah we're going to blow all that off and use a bit of filler um now just to get that all looking um yeah drying we are running out although it looks very sunny you can see the the shadows that are all over our backyard because it is the end of the day. Um, been working many, many hours this week, so we're we're not getting the the time on the car that we'd like. But hopefully, by yeah, early next week, it's Saturday, um, we'll have this ready to go back on in a bit more of a final final form. I may not have my new version of this clip on yet. But, uh, but um, yeah, we'll see what we can do.
All right, so um, a couple of thinner layers of um, primer on there. That's a filler primer. And the idea is I actually sort of want to build a bit of a layer on top um, so that I can, you see I haven't done the bottom all that well yet, but we're, at the moment we're kind of, I'm not all that worried about total coverage because I'm actually trying to get the thing flat. As you can see there's um, quite a lot of um, filler. There's been um, little patches of our bog have been put on there. Um, again, yeah, that was the that was the biggest damage. You can see it's actually got shape back now. Um, a couple of little dings, just a couple of little imperfections around the place. That large rust patch is actually looking. Yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to actually tell where that was. Um, it's actually coming up really well. Just see, I've pulled back the tape there a bit extra. But um, all in all, it's never going to be a perfectly flat roof. That's just the nature of this one. It's pretty flimsy. All you have to do is lean on it and you, it flexes in. There's not a lot of bracing in there. Um, yeah, but, and I'm probably going a bit too hard <laughs> with it as well. Um, I probably should relax a bit. I'm actually trying to get it perfectly straight, which I probably shouldn't. And um, I just ran into these. I was back and back to appreciate my work. And you can see I've knocked all the end off that off. So I need to fix that up again. Um, as you do. It's life. Of course, while we're doing these jobs, the kids want something done as well. And so we're painting a net gut with Geordie. Of course, he loves dancing in front of the camera. But we painted a, a little project that we're making that he wants to shoot out nets eventually. Product. This photo or this video is taken before we've given it a good buff and cut back to get rid of that sort of pearl hazy look that you get with acrylic paint but we're very happy with it and I'm really enjoying my little daily run around. Thanks heaps for watching guys, see you next time.